And about Milroy Zan, I mean, you, you mentioned he's an abolitionist. So um, he, he's obviously very much interested in ending slavery here and kind of being aggressive in that. Um, in, in part kind of like, how, how are sla enslaved people reacting to it? And sort of why isn't he kind of, I mean, obviously we're talking small commands here, but and mm -hmm. issues beyond obviously his control from the other side of Virginia. Um, were there plans for his command to push further down the valley to kind of liberate more individuals at all? Yeah, so when, when Milroy came to Winchester, he came New Year's Day, 1863, um, and the valley is, is, is one of those areas, he has such a small command, about 7,000 troops mm. under his command, um, and he is never given, I mean, his primary goal when he, he occupies Winchester is to oversee the, the rebuilding of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. Mm. Um, so emancipation isn't, isn't a primary goal. It is for him, mm. um, but he is never given the the human resources he needs the soldiers he needs in order to to push further south so you know his his big imprint on emancipation is going to be you know jefferson berkeley frederick clark warren um and a little bit of the of the northern tier of shenandoah county you will see however um and, and i and i bring in some evidence in the book you will see a a trickle of enslaved people from the southern part of the valley you know, slowly and methodically making their way. But, you know, that southern part of the valley, it's it's largely under Confederate control. And Milroy, again, you know, he's thinking about his, his military objectives. I've got to hold Winchester. I've got to protect uh, the line of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. And without the resources and troops, he's not going to be able to push south. Now, I will say, you know, when, when Milroy came to the valley, he wanted very much for emancipated individuals to stay in the valley. Um, and, and he writes extensively how he hopes, you know, this is the, the land of promise for enslaved people or for emancipated individuals now. And what he finds is, is some individuals are willing to stay because again, this is, this is where they're from. They have, they have very strong familial connections uh, to the area, but there are also hundreds and hundreds and hundreds every week who decide, yeah, we've been here for generations, but we realize the constant flux um, that's here. And they see Milroy as the best opportunity to secure passage north to towards uh, living a life in freedom. But again, you know, one of the things that I argue in the book is even if you you leave the valley and, you know, you have so many individuals from the valley who are who are settling in, in Southern Pennsylvania, you know, the areas around Chambersburg and the like Adams County, Pennsylvania, and they get there and they think they're secure. And then Lee's army comes right. in the summer of 1863. And you have even uh, individuals who fled with banks made it to Southern Pennsylvania who were recaptured. So they're living there for almost a year, enjoying, uh, you know, freedom and liberty and then it's just in an instant snatched away by the army of northern virginia